Hey everybody, Mr. Dallas here. We're today we're looking at math, right, and we're in our math textbooks. We are looking at six point eleven. All right, divide fractions by fractions, and we're going to take a look at divide fractions by whole numbers. Right. So previously we looked at dividing whole numbers by fractions, so it'll be the opposite. So six eleven. We are on page two eighteen two one eight. Go ahead and open up to 218 if you need some extra help. These will be some examples of 6.11 and 6.12 to help you guys get ready for your test that you're coming up. All right. So first things first, we're going to look at um, our first example that it gives us in the textbook. It says 5, 6. So we're dividing fractions by fractions. So we know it's a fraction by a fraction, and we all know what a fraction is. So 5 6 divided by 1 12th, right? right? And we all know we're not dividing, right? Once we take the reciprocal, we're going to change the sign. It's just the same thing, right? So we're taking the reciprocal of the 1 12th, so the second fraction. So 1 12th becomes 12 over 1. I'm going to change my sign, right? Then I am going to, I can take the GCF or I can multiply by this one. Looks a little simple. So I know 12 times five, I know that's 60. I know that six times one is six. So I know my answer is 10, right? 10. Sorry about that. The answer is 10, okay, 10. All right, following along on 218, okay. We're gonna take a look at a couple more examples. Next one I wanna look at, I wanna look at, I want to look at number 20 on page 219. So number 20, at number 20, 219, three fifths, right? Divided by three tenths, all right? First things first, take the reciprocal, right? I'm taking the reciprocal. So the three tenths becomes 10 over three. Then I'm gonna change my sign, right? Division becomes multiplication. So I could do two things. I could do two things actually. I could take some GCFs. So I'm gonna take a three out of there, that becomes a one, take a three out of there, take a five, that becomes a one, that becomes a two. Only thing left is two, right? Because one times two is two, right? And two over one times one is one, and just two. Does that make sense, everyone? So go feel feel free to rewind, pause the video. If you have any questions, please reach out, email me. Next, just turn the page two twenty. So dividing fractions by fractions, super simple, right? Find the reciprocal, right? Change the sign, solve. So 612 is page 220, dividing fractions by whole numbers, right? So we're starting with a fraction, right? We've, we've already done a, a whole number divided by fraction, so we're starting with a fraction. So, so a fraction divided by a whole number would be one half divided by six, right? We know when we see whole numbers, we're gonna put it over one, right? My next step, I know I gotta take the reciprocal. So I'm gonna take the reciprocal of one sixth, okay? One sixth becomes, I'm sorry, six over one becomes one sixth. Perfect. Change the sign from division to multiplication. So I get ahead of myself a little bit, but we're just following right along. I know one times one is one. I know that two times six is 12. 1 12th, okay? So super simple. If you really look at it, you're taking the whole number. Only thing that's changing is the whole number, right? The whole number is listed second in the math problem, right? You're putting it over one, you're taking the reciprocal, you're solving. So we're gonna take a look at page 221, number 13. All right, 13, page 221. This is just an average problem. Six sevenths divided by nine. Six over seven divided by nine. First things identify the whole number. Put it over one, right? 
Now I need to take this, right? To make it the reciprocal. So nine over one becomes one over nine. I'm gonna change my signs because once you take the reciprocal, it's no longer a division problem, it is a multiplication problem. Now, I can do two things. I can multiply or I can take GCF. So I'm gonna take GCF because I wanna deal with the 63. So let's go, let's take a three out of the nine, that becomes a three. Let's take a three out of the six, that becomes a two. Now that becomes two over seven times three. Seven times three, everyone is 21. Two over 21, we're gonna leave it just like that. So that's how you have, that's what we got for 611 and 612. If you have any questions, please reach out. Um, those are some just basic examples and some more information to just help reiterate the process and the concept. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Email me, stay after office hours, after class, after check-ins. I'm here for you guys. All right, talk to you later, everybody.